welcome to the Freeland Spotlight Talks for YouTube. Before we begin, I encourage you to use these videos interactively. When you are prompted to observe, pause the video and look carefully. When the educator asks a question, feel free to pause the video again and discuss your observations and ideas, making sure to address what you see that makes you say that. Enjoy! Let's take a slow look together at this mezzotint print, a philosopher shoeing an experiment on the air pump by Valentin Green. This print was modeled after Joseph Wright of Derby's original painting made in 1768. In our slow look over the print, let your eye observe the entire image, noticing what areas immediately stand out and what is taking longer to see. Take notice of light and dark. Is your eye drawn to the shadows or the lit spaces of the print? I'm interested in the center source of light, which seems to be obscured by a container of liquid. Follow your gaze around the table. What do you notice about the facial expressions and body language of each figure? What might they be thinking and feeling? And what can you tell about how they are interacting with each other? What might they be doing, gathered around a table after dark? Take a moment to contemplate the wide gap between the figures at the table. Perhaps this gap is an opening for us, as viewers, to join in observing. There appears to be a bird in a strange glass bulb. A man with gray hair in the center stands behind, perhaps adjusting something. What do you think he might be doing? Consider the title in your exploration, A Philosopher Shoeing an Experiment on the Air Pump. How might the title expand your observations? When I was researching this print, I learned the activity at the center of the table is a science experiment. They are investigating the question, how would a living thing react when its air was taken away? The glass bulb acts as a vacuum that adds or removes oxygen. This experiment seems to be conducted at the expense of the bird's life. Now that we know more about the experiment, what new ideas do you have about the facial expressions and body language of the figures? I'm curious about the group on the right side of the print. What do you notice about their reactions? How are they different? The smallest figure looks directly upon the scene, holding on to the dress of the woman beside her. The woman shields her view from the table as the man behind them puts one arm around her and points up to the bird. I'm fascinated by the varied reactions of the figures. They are all looking at the same thing, but reacting very differently. Now that we have observed some of the characters and their reactions to the air pump experiment, try to imagine yourself in the image. How might you react in such a situation? Take a minute to pause and consider the heightened human emotion amidst this controversial experiment. How might the scientific method be a source for good? Does it require us to suppress compassion and sympathy? Let's compare this print to the original painting by Joseph Wright of Derby. What similarities do you notice? What differences? I am truly amazed by the exaggeration of light and shadow and how Valentin Green, the mezzotint artist, captured the vitality and intensity of Wright's painting with highly dramatic black and white tones. Wright was most famous for depicting modern enlightenment scenes as individuals interacted with experiments, ancient objects, or paintings. The Enlightenment was a period of artistic, scientific, and technological discovery that occurred through the 1700s in Europe. What separated Wright from other painters of his time was his ability to focus on human reaction as a central theme of his paintings. This focus on human reaction and emotional response was illuminated through the contrasting light and shadow of the print. After learning about Joseph Wright of Derby, 
Do you have any new ideas or questions about the print? I was interested in the printmaking process because in my observation, the print increases the drama of the original painting, making the right of Derby painting a perfect subject to be transformed into a print. Now let's turn our attention to the printmaking process itself. What is a mesotint? A mesotint is a type of print that involves carving the image into a metal plate. Mesotint's most striking characterization is its high tonal contrast, created by roughening the entire plate with a tool called a rocker, and then scraping and polishing away the roughened parts to create the lighter areas of the print. I was also interested to learn more about printmaking during the Enlightenment. In my research, I found out that the market for reproductive prints grew exponentially in the 18th century, with print shops opening across London and some sellers even distributing internationally. The availability and affordability of reproductive prints spurred the emergence of new collectors and people who enjoyed displaying prints in their homes. Prior to this time, conducting experiments and contemplating antiquities and works of art were activities reserved for the educated elite. Widespread distribution of prints provided middle and working class people with access to these images and allowed them to stay informed on the current educational pursuits of the time. Now that you know more about printmaking, what new observations, connections, or ideas do you have? Consider with me, what might Joseph Wright of Derby have been trying to provoke in painting this subject? What stories might we tell from the point of view of the figures in the painting? What stories might we tell from the point of view of the artist or the printmaker? Might this be the beginning, middle, or end of the story. If it's the middle, what happens next? If it's the end of the story, what might have happened to lead us to this point? I might tell a story about being invited into the scene to observe the experiment. What story might you tell? Thank you so much for joining me in this close observation of a philosopher shoeing an experiment on the air pump by Valentine Green. We hope you've enjoyed this Writer's Eye Spotlight Talk. Please reach out to the Education Department with any questions or feedback. Our email is museumoutreach at virginia.edu.